Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> You know what it is if you're listening to the You Are an Idiot song. It's the dumb of the day. Dear goodness, what do I have for you? Uh, yes, you do. And um, yes, you do. Dailystar.co.uk doctor accused of sacrificing animals in his apartment for centuria witchcraft. You can't say I only brought you the same news. After a tip-off from a neighbor, investigators found at least 22 farm animals in Emilio Otero's three-bedroom apartment in New Jersey, including goats, chickens, and a dead pigeon. And of course, there's a talk on here from, if we have time, I'll play it from uh, Larson. Larson, uh, you take him with a grain of salt, though. A doctor has been accused of sacrificing livestock for Santaria. Witchcraft in his flat after investigators discovered uh, 22 farm animals being kept in his New Jersey home on Thursday when investigators arrived at Emilio Otero's property on Van Horton Street. They were met with, quote, seven, nine goats, several chickens, and even a dead pigeon nailed above a door. How many of you know what that's called? I do believe it's called a wanga. You learn something new every day here, don't you? I learned it from a 1940s movie I watched with my dad, so there you go. The investigators from the Division of Environmental Health in, for Joyzy City visited the apartment after the tip-off from Emilio's neighbors. Animal servants' agents were called to the flat, and they removed at least 22 animals and that had been kept in the three-bedroom property. Well, I mean, at least they were cozy and warm and all snuggled together. The apartment's owner, U.S. Navy sailor Alizia Brizard Rodriguez, says that Otero, Otero hasn't paid rent on the flat since May with all that livestock. And he believes he is sacrificing animals and causing damage to the property. He should have just invited her over for a cookout and you know, seen if they could work something out. H. Uh, James Bohr from the Division of Environmental Health for Jersey City stated that there were about four or five dead chicken carcasses. Their throats slashed and they were left in a pile. Santeria Faith, it says, is based on the building of relationships between humans and deities. Well, you could do that in a three-bedroom apartment. And animal sacrifice is central to the religion. Well, that's the kind of uh, building a relationship. That's the kind of relationship the Taliban builds. Um, the animal is sacrificed to be used as food rather than for a particular spiritual purpose, though some believers do offer sacrifices to build their relationships with the faith's deities. Well, if you're building a relationship with the animal just so you can whack it for your deity, then isn't there a really good chance that you Santeria people are worshipping a deity who is going to build a relationship so that they can sacrifice you like a goat? I'm just going to mention that. Common sense will lead you to some frightening places. It will. Pictures taken by the investigators show goats in the backyard of the property near to the pile of chicken carcasses. That's better than what most people are doing with goats in other liberal cities. The doctor has denied sacrificing the animals and instead says that he kills them legally for food. My well, God, should have had that barbecue then. I thought I was kidding. The Division of Environmental Health, however, disagreed and say that Emilio's actions are very much illegal. Bohr said that Joyzy City has an ordinance that prohibits residents from keeping farm animals, livestock, in the city limits. And then, if he was cooking them legally, how how did a Wonga get on the door? I, I don't know. As the investigation goes on, Ortaro could face per count, and I'm not sure how many counts, well, they said 22 about 90 times, but per count, uh, inspectors, it could be about $2,000 to 90 days in jail. Alza, who has tried to get Emilio evicted, said, I come from humble beginnings, I served this country, I purchased this house, I live on the same block, and I wanted to get an investment on my property. 
and this is what it has turned into. Yeah, but there might be a lot of really strange gods who are happy with you. So, I mean, there could be an upside to this. I don't know. Emilio has not been arrested and is not facing any charges, as Jersey police are still investigating the matter. But what they need to do is uh, tell him, and just set him free, and then just tell him to come to court to make sure he gets punished properly. Because that's what they do with the people at the border. And I've been told that works great. Good night, friends. God bless.